guys. It's raining. How am I supposed to play my tournament if it's raining? Look at this pretty view. Okay guys, so I'm here in California. It's raining as you saw, and I had my match at 2.30, but they bumped it back a whole day. And so now I'm just here in a rainy California, like, oh my goodness, I was so in sync yesterday because I practiced and I was ready to go today. So I'm going to have to do a number of things today to try to stay in that good mindset for my match tomorrow. I'm gonna go eat breakfast and then I'm gonna train uh, the best to my abilities that I can in my circumstances. And I'm gonna show you guys how I did all that. So, meet you in a little bit, probably in the parking garage where I'm gonna be doing a lot of my training. See you there. Okay guys, so like I mentioned, I am in the parking garage and I'm going to do my best to train a little bit for tennis given these circumstances. So the first thing I am going to do is practice shadow swinging and timing of my footwork. Don't underestimate how amazing these can be for you. Um, it doesn't matter what your level is. I, for one, am currently working on getting my right foot down on my backhand before I swing, even when I'm on the run. So I'm gonna do a few of those. the whole shebang. So if you can find some type of ball somewhere, I'm gonna try to hit on this ball. I don't know how long before I'll get kicked out. Okay, so never mind. I'm not gonna hit on that wall because there's actually a huge puddle there and it's probably from the rain. Um, I'm gonna try to see. I'll find something. Here's a wall. Um, I don't know if I have a lot of space, but I'm gonna do my best. And it's also kind of close to some cars, so I kind of gotta minimize my space a little bit. And I hope whoever's car this is that I put my tripod on, they don't care. That elevator is actually on the other side of this wall. I don't want to start any complaints. This is like all I have. Though. So another thing that you can practice is functional training, functional patterns, and breathing. So if you don't know what that is, you gotta check out Unfair Advantage. He has awesome tips and some moves that you can do. I'm just gonna show you a few. Basically, functional patterns are set to design you to get the optimal amount of rotation in your body and just making sure everything's in sync 
and I probably butchered that, honestly. I'm not a science talker, but he is, so he'll explain. Anyway, so I'm basically just working on trying to walk in sync and like move in sync while, while keeping a neutral spine amongst doing like lunges and other things. For me, especially what I've been working on with functional patterns is keeping my spine neutral and engaging the core. When I reach up, I realize how much integrity I lose when I even reach up to serve. My whole back goes like a flop. It's really bad, so I'm working on this right now. Amongst all of that, I'm also working on my breathing. A little trick that I'm doing to increase my bolt score is just to breathe in and out through my nose and when I feel relaxed, plug my nose and start counting. My record is like 17 seconds, which is kind of not so good, so hopefully I can get more than that. Okay guys, so back from the parking garage and here to show you the last tip for training when it's raining. Oh, that rhymes. I should. I should name the video that. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so, um, the last thing you can do is, of course, mental training. And what I mean by that is imagining yourself playing the most amazing tennis you've ever played. Imagine yourself at the tennis facility, what you see, what you feel, what you hear, and writing all of that down. And only write down the good positive things. You should only be thinking about the good positive things. Um, when you are mental training like this. So for me, I don't know what this facility looks like or anything, but I can train my brain to thinking about how I feel on the tennis court when I'm hitting really well and, you know, stuff like that, so. Okay guys, so I just jotted down a few things and that just to give you some idea of what you might be writing down for your mental training, it's probably not the same as mine, but it could be very similar things. So what I said that I hear, I hear the pop of the ball back and forth. I mean, of course, common tennis thing that you hear, but I just love that sound so much. It makes me feel happy. Um, the birds chirping, the audience clapping, and even if when I say audience, I mean just like one or two people if I hit a good shot or something like that. What I feel inside, I feel uh, the smooth feel of hitting a winner. You guys should know what that feels like. And uh, that effortless power that you have when you know you hit a shot and it feels so crisp and clean. Um, and I feel excitement and I feel love because I love tennis all the time. And what I see, I see my opponent getting frustrated because I'm totally kicking her butt. And my husband watching me because I love when he watches me and I'm also seeing all of my winners when I hit them going in. So those are just a few things that I jotted down and I hope that kind of helps you know what to do when you mental train for being on the court. That is everything I have for my video tips on what to do and how to train when it's raining. And I hope that you enjoy these tips. Let me know if I missed anything. I think I got the gist of it. And before I forget, huge thank you to I Love My Doubles partner for this super cute outfit that you see me wearing in this video. I'm also gonna be wearing it tomorrow probably when I play my match, so. It feels really awesome. Oh gosh, whoops. Okay, so. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have an awesome day, and if it's raining where you are, I'm glad that I was able to help you out. If it's not raining, you're lucky. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.